Hey guys, it's me, Vix123, with some Team Combat Axe gameplay on Studio, the Firing Range remake, and oh, it's a lot of fun to be playing on this map. It feels like it's just gone back to Black Ops 1, the original Team Tomahawk on Firing Range, but uh, it is Black Ops 2, and it almost plays identically. You know, there's subtle differences. It feels like we die a lot faster, but other than that, it's fairly good. That awkward host migration there, but I'm still not going to let this guy get away with it. So yeah, it's a lot of fun to play on this map. It's always cool to, you know, have retro maps added back in. And combat axing, it's a great map for that. Although we struggled so much to even get a game where there was an opportunity to even put up a fight. Because a lot of the people that have been playing these new maps are seriously try-hard players. They are, they are going in... Um, and of course, why wouldn't they? But it just makes it extremely difficult for us with combat axes only to uh, pull off a good game. So hopefully you guys can appreciate that and there'll be more of that later on. But, you know, it started off really strong, flanking a lot. And that's all good. You know, I know this map. I know where to go. The spawns seem very similar to what they used to be. The flanks work in the same way they used to do. And actually, it's the same case on Nuketown. I'm not actually sure why I've not done a Team Combat Axe gameplay on there yet. I guess it only recently got added into the regular map rotations, which are all I tend to play. And also, it is just a really hard um, hard, you know, map to Combat Axe only on, but just people kill you so fast. You get killed so, so fast with the uh, guns on Black Ops 2. So that's something we deal with. But you can just see at the start right here, I'm just tearing up. But it's something that happens that is typical of almost every game ever the enemy team wise up to what we're doing so quickly and yeah they start they start putting out the shots and you'll see that towards the end of this game I mean we're barely holding it in the balance here but they start putting on tack mass they start spreading out they start holding their own corners and it just makes it near enough impossible for us to do anything like you can see they're just putting long shots out across the map even flanking like this doesn't really help so much I do manage to get that kill but I'm gonna try and get in here and the concussions are coming in, the uh, attack mask, all that kind of stuff. So it was really difficult. And actually, spoiler alert, basically we do lose this game. But I actually pulled off quite a nice game, which I wanted to share with you guys. And I think, in a way, I like to go by the logic that if I do well and no one else on my team manages to do well, then is that more impressive? Because it's, you know, it's a harder environment. The enemy team have UAVs, counter UAVs, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, the flanking and all that kind of stuff was necessary. So that's the gameplay. And also, I had a lot of fun playing off these maps yesterday for the first time, live commentating them. Those were uploaded over the course of yesterday. There was a lot of them. You might have missed some of those. Feel free to check them out in my previous videos. I did some, you know, the first two games were beastly. My first game of the day and first game I played was on Encore. And I got something like 37 kills to 6 deaths or something like that. Just messing around. And then the game after that, I got like 27 and 3 on the map Vertigo, which is like a rooftop map. And then the other two gameplays were more fun. Messing around on this map and also met some awesome people to talk to in game chat on magma so feel free to check those out also did a live mob of the dead run that was uploaded really late uk time so that was also there for you guys to check out there'll be an outro at the end of this video which links to all of those videos i think they've done a great job of the dlc once again definitely enjoying it the only thing I'm disappointed about is there's no new gun DLC, there's no new weapon for me to unlock all the camos on super fast and show you guys, but hey, it is what it is, and from what I've heard, there are actually going to be no more weapon DLCs in this game. Apparently, the Peacekeeper was one of the original weapons in the SMG class slot, and basically... Um, they didn't want to have so many SMGs in the start, so they added it in later as DLC. And we kind of were under the impression that was going to happen with every DLC drop. Unfortunately not, but you never know. There may be more stuff. They may surprise us with something like that. But nonetheless, the maps are cool. Always nice to have a remake. So there's two remakes in here at the moment. It would actually be cool if they remade a map that wasn't kind of from the Treyarch side of things. Maybe one of the Modern Warfare maps. It'd be really interesting to see how one of those played on, um, you know, the Black Ops games. But that's, that's just a thought for the future. So anyway, in the game at this point, yeah, we're, we're not doing too good. You know, we're trying, we're trying just to pull back that lead. I'm pushing that guy in the tower. Going to see if I can pull off a long shot on that guy down there. I can. Don't know where the guy inside the building went. I think he ran outside. But it's not going to go in our favour. The SMGs is just going to overpower us. Even with, uh, you know, the hiding, the stunning, that kind of method. 
Still not going to work out, so I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Unfortunately, not a win, but a more realistic outlook on Team Combat Axe. If you would like to check out any of the Uprising DLC live gameplay I posted yesterday, then check out the links on screen right now.